Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to day three of our Ireland adventure. Getting a bit of a late start to this vlog today. Um, I was out most of the morning and early afternoon just playing tourist, uh, exploring some places with my dad. He's on his golf round now. Um, I didn't want to do any vlogging while we were checking out some of these places, but I did get a few cool shots at some of these places we went to. We went back to Dunluce Castle and I got a redo of the image that I captured on uh, Wednesday, no Thursday, I'm losing track of the days that I've been out here, that time jump is really messing with me. Um, I will admit the redo, the sun was better, but it's still, thinking back on it, wasn't a really engaging image. So I think maybe if I've been out to, able to get out on the cliff side there a little bit, but I didn't know the, where the owner of the property was and I would have needed his permission, but that's okay because at a different viewpoint on the other side of the castle, I captured a much better image, I think. You don't see as much of the castle, but you've got more drama and dynamic because you've got more cliffs in the image to give you a better sense of perspective and give you a feel for what the coast of Northern Ireland is like. So I'm much happier with that image. And then we also just went and checked the Downhill Manor. Uh, downhill, yeah, I think I believe Downhill Manor. And that was very cool. That was like Downton Abbey-esque. It was huge. It was just great. You could tell in its day it was just a grand, grand mansion, grand home. And it's fallen into complete disrepair, which is why the National Trust has uh, control of the property now. Because it is now just a complete ruin. And then the Musini Temple, I believe is what it was called, went over there and got a... Uh, image of that using the gravel path as a lead-in to the temple itself. Very cool structure. That was impressive in and of, in and of itself. And so uh, photography wise, it's been pretty good today. Again, I haven't been vlogging because I've been playing the tourist and actually spending some quality time with my dad, but now he's out on the course and I am out doing this. And I'm just kind of exploring the just the countryside here, heading for a more forested area. Maybe we'll get a little hiking in. Today, I really just don't have a plan. I'm just out doing recce and exploring and just uh, finding shots as they come. All right, let's talk a little bit of photography here. I have come up the road and I've found what looks like this old stone and sheet metal covered barn. And it's just really cool because it kind of gives you that sense of rustic and old um, farm life. There's a you can't really see it in there. There's an old tractor, one of the old um, horse-drawn tractors, and all the rust and stonework just gives this image a lot of texture and color, and it's just really, really nice. I tried to incorporate, I wish I could get a little wider, guys. I'm sorry, but I've got the wide angle on the camera here because I need it for this shot. I tried to incorporate some of, these, some of this fence line and some of these blackberry brambles to uh, help give a little bit more texture to the image, but it just wasn't coming out right. It was coming out kind of flat and kind of boring. So I've decided to just centralize on the uh, barn here. Just real quick camera settings here. I'm having to be really careful because my tripod's really balanced kind of precariously in the grass down here and with the blackberry bushes and against the fence. So I'm not solid footing, so I'm trying to be really careful here. Settings wise, I'm at F11, ISO 100, shutter speed of one over 100, uh, and bracketing a stop either way because I'm just having trouble pulling in, pulling down the sky enough and pulling up the shadows enough to get that dynamic range. I don't shoot with grad filters. I think I've mentioned it before, but in case I haven't, it's just uh, more glass I feel like that I'd have to carry around, more stuff I'd have to carry around. And in my opinion, Lightroom does just fine with the software grads. So that's why I don't shoot with grad filters. Uh, just another piece of glass that I could end up breaking by accident. So three stops either way. I'm on a 10 second timer because of the boggy, boggy ground here. So just eliminate the camera shake three exposures here, and I think this is going to turn out really, really well.
So this little field that I've kind of found myself in right now is just offering a lot of promise uh, for some good photos here. Out over here we have this little hillside here that's got all the rocks on it. That's where I saw that first shot that I want to capture. But then back here we've got this stone fence and some trees and some of these trees that are changing, starting to change colors here. I guess we're getting into the fall season so that would make sense. Just really, really uh, finding a lot of inspiration here right now. Got another group of hikers coming in right now. So I'm probably gonna just put the vlogging camera down and capture this one shot here real quick. Talk you through it before they get over here. I'm zooming in on this cluster of boulders that is just up here on the hillside. We've got a little bit of a fence line right there, a little tree right there. I'm gonna try and eliminate those. I think, well, I think I'll keep the little tree in there, a little bush for some context because that's gonna add some, some something to the image, I feel like. But I'm definitely gonna eliminate those boulders right there. I'm trying to decide if I want to go for a 16 by 9 crop or a 4 by 5 crop. So I'm going to let these hikers go through and I'm going to capture this shot here going at uh, aperture f8, ISO 100 and shutter speed I'll just put right here for you guys. Yeah, I think it's going to be a cool shot. has moved off down the road here and uh, they were pretty interested in what I was doing a few of them wanted to run up onto the hillside here to pose for me but I was like yeah maybe maybe next time because uh, I really just want to get the bare landscape this time so now on to image number two which is this tree over here with the stone fence running up and out towards the sea I really this image really caught my attention because it just it's Oh, it's just like, it's rustic Ireland. It's just so classic. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to capture this image. This is so cool. Just evokes the feeling of being in the Irish countryside and being in just kind of an older time almost, it feels like. So I just find that really, really just cool and inspiring. And it's just, oh. Settings wise, I have gone for a square uh, square ratio one to one ratio on my camera because I there's just nothing interesting to the left or to the right the fence was going just a little too far into some into a newer barbed wire fence and I felt that kind of distracted from the image so one to one crop focus on the tree f8 no f f10 ISO 100 1 over 80 of a second shutter speed and bracketing again three stops you're uh, not three stops bracketing a stop either way to capture dynamic range. Um, the light, uh, it's its flat today, guys. I'm gonna be perfectly honest here. There's not a lot of good light in the sky. It's very subtle and diffused. This may actually become a black and white image. I feel like a black and white image might do this scene just a little bit more justice. Uh, but just really, really cool image here. So that's image number two. We're gonna move on to image number three over here. So image number three in this field is going to be this lovely little tree that we've got right here. It's starting to turn red and orange. I think it's starting to be affected by the season change. It's starting to produce some autumnal color. That's a really weird word to say. I'm going to just say autumn color. It's starting to produce some autumn color and I think it's creating just great color and contrast. Just another cool kind of farm and forest image that I was really hoping to capture out here in Ireland. And I'm feeling like today we are accomplishing that goal. We've hit all the big tourist spots already up here in Northern Ireland, and now we're finding the more intimate landscapes. And I could not be happier right now because this is the kind of photography that you just chase. Everybody wants the big cotton candy shots, but it's shots like this where you get to be artistic and really push yourself to think creatively that make it all worthwhile. Again, I'm going for a uh, square crop, one to one ratio. Uh, F14, the, I don't need to be on F14. 
F8 because I don't really have that much in the foreground that I need to worry about since everything's kind of all in the same position. ISO 100 because I'm on tripod. I don't really need to worry about the shutter speed too much and shutter speed of 1 over 125 and once again bracketing either way so I can capture dynamic range. I've got a little bit of sky in the shot that I want to capture some detail out of. Uh, 10 second timer, eliminating camera shake because I've noticed sometimes with me because I just go brr, 10 second timer works a lot better because a two second timer doesn't give enough time for the camera to stop shaking. I think this might be one of my favorite images of the trip already and we've still got a full day of travel tomorrow and then I've got four days, I think four or five days in the Dingle Peninsula and to say that this is my favorite trip of the image, let's let's put it this way. This is my favorite image of the trip thus far. I'm sure there's going to be something else that's going to give us some competition, but right now, this one's the leader. <laughs>